Hello, how you doing? This is Neil Fontaine, and this is going to be a brief sample of how to do eye color changes, or the best way to do eye color changes in Photoshop. I'm using CS3 right now, but you can also use a Photoshop CS, and that will be fine, even Photoshop 7. I'll be teaching all the different techniques that I've learned throughout the years that are important for uh, the job industry, like working for a magazine, you know, doing the photoshopping for that, uh, the techniques that you'll need to, you know, paint the skin and so forth uh, that's used in those magazines, or just working with a photographer, or working for like a company doing wedding photos and whatnot. Also, many different manipulation techniques and just photo techniques in general that, that photographers would be interested in. If you like a chance to get your uh, photo on the DVD, send a high quality photo, professional quality photo, and high resolution JPEG to this email address here. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. And if I do accept your photo, then I will send you a free copy uh, back in your email of the makeover. So the first thing we're going to do here is use the selection tool, hold down the shift key, and draw a selection around the eyes. This allows you to make multiple selections. Hold down the control key and then hit C then V. You can also go to edit, copy and paste. This makes a new layer in your layers palette. Go to image adjustments and color balance rather than hue and saturation because this gives us more control of the eye color. Let's say we want to give her blue eyes. First go to shadows, make sure preserve luminosity is on. Add a little bit of blue a little bit of cyan, a little more cyan, a little bit of green, a little bit of blue, a little bit of green, a little bit of yellow, and then we'll go to image adjustments and levels, and we could brighten them up a little bit, crystallize them, then go to layer layer mask, hide all. This allows you to have two different options here. This here is the layer. Then you can go in and change the properties of the layer, like add different, you know, changing the adjustments, layers or something, or excuse me, uh, image adjustments and let's say color balance, or whatever like we just did. This allows you to paint. So let's select on here. By hitting X on your keyboard, you'll switch between black and white. And this will allow you to either color or erase. So this just makes it easier to change your photo without having to erase anything. Go ahead and color in the eyes like so. to view, oops, print size or actual pixels. Now if you weren't happy with the color, you can then go here and we can go back and we can actually do this, hue and saturation, colorize, and just give a you know brief idea of what different colors might look like. Then go to Image, Adjustments, and Color Balance, Highlights, add some yellow, Shadows, add a little bit of blue, and then you got different eyes. But let's say we wanted some red eyes. Let's go to Color Balance, Shadows, let's make this almost all the way red. Actually, um, first I'm going to make a new copy. Again, holding down the select key. Okay, now that I have a new copy, if I first add red, then add a little bit of yellow, a little bit of red, then highlights add yellow. That gives you a neat looking red. Go to layer, layer mask, hide it all, and then you can see what that looks like real quick by painting it in. 
If you want a deeper red, then you can still go deeper. I'm just doing this really quick. I can spend more time, make it perfect. And with this technique, you can do dual tone. So let's make another, oops, uh, select this original layer. Lasso tool, hold down the select, the select key. And then hold down the control key, hit CV, makes a new layer. We'll put this layer on top. Layer, layer mask, hide all. Select the brush tool again, and then we're going to zoom in. Magnifying glass, left click, let go. Okay, turn the opacity down here a little bit. And let's see here. Actually, first I'm gonna hit D to return it back to its colors. I'm gonna paint in. Oops, I'm not on a layer mask. That would help. Actually, hold on. Let me do that all over again. Okay, I'm gonna back up one step real quick before I add in my. I'm gonna go image adjustments, and then I'm gonna go to and saturation. I'm going to make this kind of a yellowish. Okay. Then I'll go to layer, layer mask, hide all. Turn my opacity down on my brush. And then I can paint on top of this. And you can add dual tone eye color. You can do this any two colors you want, like blue and yellow, which will give you kind of a green color from far away. That adds a cool dual tone. Okay, what if you wanted her to be blind? This is actually rather easy. We'll go ahead and zoom in for this real quick. Hold down the shift key, allows the little hand so you can move around and then let go. Okay, let's uh, pick the side. A lasso tool, hold down the select. I just hold down shift. And then we'll hold down control, hit CV. Image adjustments, levels. We'll make this brighter and brighter and lighter. About like that. Layer, layer mask, hide all. 100%. And let's go ahead and paint in. I'm doing this really fast because I'm about to run out of time. Click on this right next to the trash can. This will make a new layer. Pick this gray color, which is almost, uh, turn that past about 54. This is almost white, but not quite. You could just call it good there, but if you wanted to, you can also add a little bit of this purple pink color. Hold down the control key, select this layer, click on these little lines, merge layers. In older photoshops, just uh, link the layers and then merge the link. Okay, now with that layer, then you can you can further take it, brightness and contrast, and we could adjust the brightness. We're going to make it a little bit brighter, less contrasty. Then go to image adjustments, color balance. We can add a little bit of purple. So pretty much using the same technique, but... Um, pushing a little bit further, you can get a really interesting look with blind eyes. And I'll be teaching all different kinds of surreal stuff to common uh, photo stuff that you would expect to be in, you know, guys' magazines and whatnot uh, on the DVD. I will actually teach uh, this technique in depth on the DVD, how to get this these exact eyes here. Right. if you enjoyed the video, please leave a comment and rate. Thanks.